Driving down the block like what else should a brother do? Is that I had this crazy idea. I'd won the BBC Urban Bursary Award, so I thought, is New York number one for music and fashion, or has it lost its edge? What is going on on street level? I got a flight, a video camera, cover for my radio show, and a heap of bustle. This is how I uncovered what the FUK is NY Street. All the streets, what's up? If you ain't messing with Jay, you ain't messing with nobody. After champagne drinking and reggae legends, my boy Matt at that sound reminded me to check out some of New York's serious hip hop heads. In the, in the golden era of hip hop, everybody was making real hip hop. And, and therefore, there was an environment that was seen very friendly. Like right now, it, it was such a beautiful thing to do a record that is pure hip hop, but you know, not a pop record. And now hip hop has become pop. In order to be seen on the spectrum now, you're making disco beats. I'm right there in terms of real hip hop. I, I know it's never gonna die. I'm always gonna stay in the lab cutting new beats, new tracks, new trails, sonically, for people to follow so that they for those who don't wanna follow this pop pop thing, they've got a new thread, a new a new way to follow music, and of course you can't go wrong with Guru on the mic. If you go to any rap show, rap network, MTV, VH1, um, BET, if you go to any rap show whatever it is and you turn it on every artist looks like the same artist over and over again same sound over and over again same lyrics over and over again not only that the same people over again mm. um the thing that changed with the industry it used to be like whoa these guys over here got run dmc these guys got Public Enemy. These guys over here got De La Soul. These guys over here got NWA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For us to come in the game, we got to come with something new. Yeah, but yeah. now it's like, whoa, NWA made a lot of money. Let's do he that. Got NWA. He got NWA. Listening to these guys got me wanting to investigate the commercial side of hip hop. And what better place to start than Hot 97? Who's this? This is Little Nat from Hot 97. Hi, Yo, everybody. looking hot. <laughs> Say hello to the UK. Hi UK, I love your accent. <laughs> well, this is where the DJs mix from. Okay, Funkmaster okay. Flex, Mr. C, DJ Camello, ah. and uh, they bring their own uh, Serato computer. But we have the CDJs and the turntables mixed up, and they can play from the computer also. The Dillette system, this is what okay. we use. Play their carts, their drops, and all that stuff. And that's the hot studio where we work out of. Uh. Uncle Ralph is on right now. Wow, so you started off as an intern? Yes, and worked my way all the way up the ladder. Little night you've done it, girl. That's, that's, that's heavyweight. <laughs> hard that's work, amazing. baby. Hard work, and it pays off. Yeah. What kind of music do you play? We um, play hip hop, R and B. We also play some reggae. And we play a few pop records, but okay. only the ones that's like top of the chart. Yeah. Kanye is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Fifty Cent, I still love you, baby. <laughs> Jay Z, he's an icon now, so you mm. know he goes without saying. Um, I still love the old school. Like, yeah. I still love watching. Big Daddy Kane perform, or Dougie Fresh, or zoop, zoop. you know, like I love that. So I mean, I just love music. Mary J. Blige, love her. Keisha Cole's new artist, love her. Alicia yeah. Keys, Ashanti got a new single now. That single out, that's great. It's awesome. It was amazing um, to see how Hot 97 operates and what a big influence it is on what people listen to. But I soon found out that's not the only way to hear new music. There's a massive mixtape market. And Jay Ronin was happy to tell me all about it. Me, myself, you know, I work with all the artists myself. I have personal relationships with all the artists. So, I'm, you know, they come in my, my, my home studio. We get freestyles done. I get songs done with all the artists. I bring everyone together from Wu-Tang to Boot Camp to Dead Prez to newer artists like Kids in the Hall and Mickey Fax and Sky Zoo, Saigon, Joel Ortiz, people like that. A lot of other mixtape DJs, they just download shit off the internet. And you know, it's, it's in the streets for two weeks and then it's thrown in the garbage, you know what I mean? I like guess, you know, fast food, microwave mixtapes. My, my mixtapes are more like a gourmet meal, like I put more work into them. You know, there's, there's a lot of thought that goes into it, a lot of work. In the barbers, I had a chat with Sav Kills, who reinforced what I'd recently heard about hip hop in New York. That's what it is, you know, it's due to a lot of DJs fronting, it's a money thing, you know what I'm saying, a lot of cash that is really doing it, don't have the machine behind them like that, you know what I mean? So, that's why we not getting the spotlight that we deserve, because the cash that make quality music don't have that backing behind them, they don't have the machine behind them. 
you have just the whole commercial thing, you know what I'm saying, with the puff daddies and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So it kind of overshadowed, it kind of overshadowed what the other cats was doing on the other side, you know what I mean? So mm, it seems there's a lot of good music not breaking through. I left Flatbush and headed to Manhattan to catch a show. I kept hearing about ALX, a political couple of dudes who had some UK connects, so I went to have a look. ALX is revolutionary street music. We've been doing this shit for a minute. RBG style, you know how we do. We talk against the government, because the government, as, we, as it is right now, ain't for the people. So that's what we about. Our sound is hood shit. You know what I mean? Like it's some real grimy, soulful, uh, this music, you know what I mean? Who watch it? I'm saying who watching who? Is you watching TV or is that TV watching you and you? We had an album actually that dropped in the UK called Live or Die, official shit with the um, producer Baby J. Oh yeah, okay. Baby J. Yes. We dropped that shit in like 2004, independent. We used our hustle money and dropped that shit. Being in New York was something else. One person led me to the next party, to the next interview, to the next person. I was finding out more and more every day. And clearly there's a big division between commercial and underground music.